As always, we reverse straight back until our mirrors pass the brake lights. And then we start our turn so that we can clear the cars. Hey, it's Jacqueline. And for the next few minutes, we are gonna work on a very specific skill. We are going to work on parking perpendicular in a parking lot between cars. So the first thing we want to remember is that parking lot speed is five miles an hour. We don't wanna go any faster than five because we're in a situation where cars are parked, people are walking, we wanna use really slow speed. That slow speed is going to be really helpful for us because it's gonna help us position ourselves really precisely so that we can fit between parked cars between the limit lines. So we might not even go five miles an hour when we're really parking. We might be going zero to three miles an hour, depending on how tightly we're trying to fit. We also want to think about when we're parking perpendicular that we are fitting our rectangular car next to or between two other rectangular cars. We don't bend. So to park around another car when we're parking to the left, we angle to the right to give us a little bit of room to make that arc and fit into the spot. Similarly, if we're parking to the right, we angle to the left and then come around the vehicle to park parallel between or around two other cars. I know it's a lot to think about without moving, but let's get out on the road and see how it works for us. And then your job is going to be to practice parking with somebody that you feel really comfortable with in a safe parking lot at a slow speed. And you're gonna practice making really precise turns to park between limit lines. If you're studying for your permit or learning to drive, recommend that you check out Zootopia.com. They have an amazing app with tons of DMV practice tests to help prepare you for your permit test. It goes through everything you need to know in detail and has hundreds of illustrations to make it easier to understand and remember the information. With more than 100,000 ratings, Zootopia is one of the most widely used driver's ed resources in the U.S. and a must-have for learners. Check it out and see for yourself. So the first thing I'm gonna do is park on the left-hand side between the two cars on the left. I'm going to signal. I'm angling to the right as much as I can, and I'm going to go forward until my left mirror is at the center of this car, and I can use the license plate or the car's symbol as my centering visual marker and match that up with my left mirror. I can also see my two limit lines very visibly. And as I turn the corner, I get parallel between the two vehicles. And then I straighten up. And that turn, I did at two miles an hour. I have a big truck to the right. I have a big beautiful Audi car to the left, and I wanted to make sure that I fit in perfectly between the two cars. Next, we're gonna practice parking to the right. We're gonna follow the same strategies, slow speed, signal, make an arc by curving away from your parking spot and centering perfectly between the cars. As always, we reverse straight back until our mirrors pass the brake lights. And then we start our turn so that we can clear the cars. Perpendicular parking in a parking lot, sometimes called bay parking, is probably the most difficult parking to do because of the limit lines, the other cars, and the angles. I'm going to park on the right between these two silver cars. I angle left. I wait until my mirror is at the center of 
the first car. I turn the wheel slowly. When I'm parallel, I straighten up and I go forward until my mirror matches the mirror on the other side. And that's how I know how far forward to go. When I look to the right and the left, I can see my nice distance from the other cars. When I open up my door, I can see I'm parallel and between my limit lines. When I follow those steps, I park perfectly each time. And my steps are slow speed, five miles an hour or under, signal, center, which means use your side mirrors to center with the middle of the car you're gonna wrap around to be sure your tires will go around the car and you'll land perfectly between your limit lines. And then remember, as you are straightening and going forward, you can use the mirrors of the other cars on the side to match your mirrors so you know exactly how far forward to go into your spot because it's hard to see where the front limit line is. Thank you for joining me today to get more familiar with parking and thinking about the steps we can take to be good parkers so that we look good and we're parallel with our limit lines and of course we don't bump other cars.